Yep. I yep. pretty much like that's done, and I would, the only thing I would do is like go tell Janice that it's done, okay. and that uh, I have another meeting now. Um, that I will be going to this time. I will be going alone. <laughs> Are you sure that's safe? Mm, I'm just yes, worried about you. I'm sorry. You're an adult. <laughs> that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm fairly certain. They seem reasonable enough. Um, plus, it's interesting. Um, they're also not practitioners, so I don't know what I'd be afraid of, if I'm honest. I look at you and like, it is San Francisco. There's always guns and knives and that shifter gang well Ch- I'm trust me I'm not afraid because of because you're safe from them doesn't mean that you're safe I, I apologize I, I just I worry sometimes you know I no I'm perfectly fine um I will I will call you when um their ritual I think is complete it's um do you know anything about the god Isis? Uh, do I know anything about the god Isis? Can I roll lore to know how much I know about the god Isis? Do you want to know magical stuff, or do you want to know about the cult? Uh, hmm. I mean, it depends Probably on how long you've stuff. lived in San like Fran. I, really, like, was it? I feel like I wouldn't really know that much about the cult specifically. I'd be more likely to know things about Isis, the goddess... Right, like historical facts, roll lore. Or you could roll scholarship if you just want to know historical stuff. But uh, I'm way better at lore. Go for it. Okay, four? Right. I mean, I assume you're familiar with the, the lore behind Isis? Uh, broad strokes, yeah. Okay. Like, uh, magically, the, um, the cult goes back pretty far. Um, it was really an Egyptian cult. And then the Greeks adapted it, and then the Romans adapted it. And then it kind of fell out of out of favor around the time Christianity came around, but um it's been living on in secret all these years, and they. Well, let me just talk about Isis then. So, Isis is the guardian of time and of mm-hmm. God of Rivers. Um, very few people have ever seen her. But it is said that she has a a white shawl, and she strains the river of time with this shawl and makes sure that nothing contaminates the source. Um, Magically, like, there aren't any known rituals associated with her, Mm -hmm. but that just means that whatever rituals do exist would be extremely powerful. Yeah, okay. Uh, and I think I'd probably warn her of that. I I, I, th- I think I would say, uh, Cynthia, they may not be practitioners, but if they had, do have a ritual from Isis, if it's legitimate, it may be incredibly powerful, and even a mortal could could perform it. Well, if it is incredibly powerful, I would wish to know more about it, not vice versa. Um, I would not want such dangerous magic to be unsupervised, I suppose. Um, besides, if I wish to learn as much as I wish to in the amount of time I need to, I must... a shortcut must be taken somewhere, and I feel like this would be a decent fit from what I've heard of her. I just nod. You can tell I'm still concerned, but I I'm, I have faith in you, so I'll let you go alone. Yep. If you continue to insist. Yep. Pretty much does. Um, but that that's pretty much it uh, from my side of it till the uh, 
till that meeting. That's uh, really all I want to do. Before you guys leave, the uh, shadowy cloaked figure in the corner mm-hmm. makes a gesture. He's beckoning you to his table. Both of us, or? Both of you. Uh, I raise an eyebrow to Janice. I kind of, I kind of like nod and then head over that direction. Okay. I, I'll do it too, sure. So, do you guys sit at the table or do you just stand by? I would stand first. Okay. I, I think I would stand unless he, he specifically wanted us to sit down. And I'm not even sure then, but like, he, yeah. like I'd go over and I'd be like, do I, I do I know you? you? He hesitates that. for a moment, like, he expects you to sit down, and then he shakes his head and says, No. No, you do not know me, child. The may I ask what you want? I ask, did you come here alone? Obviously not. <laughs> I need your help. What is this about? I need your help. This is fairly short notice of someone I've just met asking me for aid. And and my immediate response is, how can we help? Like, we talk over each other at the same time. (laughs) Yeah, I'm very much like, no, pragmatic. Let's figure out what the fuck this guy wants. Not... (laughs) And you're just like, yep, let's help everyone, please. It is not a great burden. I just... I need to leave these grounds. But I feel like it is unsafe for me to leave alone. I just ask that I accompany you when you leave the carnival. (laughs) Once we are beyond, I will take my leave. And wish I would like. To, I would like to know more. Who are you? Let's start with that. I do not wish to reveal that. I do not I, wish I to give aid him. to strangers. And I look at Cynthia and I say, "Well, my inclination is to help you, but I don't. Uh, I don't wish to." Uh, Upset my friend. So, can I do like an investigation uh, role, by the way? To do what? Just like figure out like what this guy's deal is, I guess. Like, like is he like obvious like wizard stuff on him, like rings or whatnot, or um, um anything like that? Have any magical? The Shadow Run book is not going to help me. <laughs> <laughs> it might. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you just gotta fake it until it works. Actually, let's do this. I'm going ah no, I'll have like. I could do that. I could just open my site and be like, fuck it. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Six. Oh, yeah. He's he's not human. Um, Any, like, hint towards what he might be? Like, fey or whatnot? No. So I want to try to use, uh, do a, um... Uh, uh, what is it? Social conflict to try to get him to tell us something. Okay. That, that's what I was trying to look up the rules for because I have no idea how to do it. So I'm afraid you're going to have to walk And I'm just going to open my site while she's doing that. Are we so going to she... have a social conflict? Oh, Jesus. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, I, I want to get him to open up, but I want to do it in the most nicest, kindest, motherliest way possible. Well, Regardless of what she, like, like I'm gonna let her finish because I like would like like regardless of what I see, but I am gonna do that. So we can. I do like that how she goes with the subtle approach. You go with like the nuclear option, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, you were saying I could roll lore just to to be able rapport. to look at him and see. Report. Oh, report. Yes, so report. Yes, conflicts. that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll we'll here do the whole social conflicts because you're just trying to get him to tell you something. Yeah, like more about him. I think is her. Okay, is that right? Yeah, basically, I I also want to know a little bit more about him. I want it for on Cynthia's behalf. 
Okay. Basically, I'm pretty trusting and I'm willing to help him out because he's asking for something pretty simple. Right. But with uh, with Cynthia being kind of standoffish, basically, I, I'm just trying to get him to yeah, that. Like I'm saying, hey, I'm more than happy to help you, okay. but to you know, will you show us a little bit of good faith and you know, open up a little bit? Sure. But so. also, opening the site is a much faster action. Yeah. So like, go yeah. It takes, do that like, first. Fifteen seconds and. Talking to him yep. takes several minutes, so go ahead and... I'm going to let her, like, talk through, depending... Like, if I see something absolutely horrible, I'll be like, nope, but if yeah. not, I'll let her finish. So, so I'll try. you open your site, and you see this, like, horrible gaping maw of the abyss, like, in the shape of a man. So we're going to roll see. mental damage. Cool. So go ahead and roll your discipline. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll actually I'll, I might. Yeah, I'm gonna add stuff to this. Um, okay. Why? I'm gonna I'm gonna. Oh. Invest, uh, You're gonna take seven stress as is. So. <gasps> um, I'm gonna. What what if I add stuff to this? Will it help at all? Um. So how much mental stress can you take? Uh, <laughs> let's see. I can take. I I can take that. I can take seven. That's fine. Will you have any left? Yeah, I'll have like four left. Not then, four, sorry, I'll have uh, three. Really? How much do you have? Holy crap! I mean, you have you have four boxes, right? Boxes. Yeah. Oh. My oh, yeah, fucking convictions four. Wait, wait, wait! You, you know you don't get. Do you get boxes equal to your conviction? Yeah, you. Do. Yeah, you. Get, it's based off your conviction, not your discipline. I mean, it's a chart, though, right? It's not equal to your conviction. No, chart. it's yeah. There's a chart. I, it's for if your conviction. Yes, I I looked at okay, the chart. Okay, so I make sure. All right. Yeah. So yeah, you'll be fine. You don't actually have to spend any fate points, but I prefer not to take seven mental stress. You will need to roll to close the. Uh, All to right. Close so, your eye, your magical eye. Um, I can use a fate point just to re-roll, right? Yeah. Or is that to add? Um. So if I get better than this roll, will that reduce the mental stress? Is my question. Yes. Then yeah, I, I'll just uh, re-roll. Uh, Voking high concept, by the way. Okay. Yeah, it's much better. better. All right, so you only take four mental stress this time. Very okay with that. Um, <laughs> then I roll discipline to close my sight. I think so. Let me just check really quick. Unless you had the page open. I did not. Sorry. I hope there's nothing else behind you in the background. So, like you can see, like there's powerful magical waves, like all over the place. Okay. Like it seems to be emanating from somewhere and like washing out like you know like the old radio waves you know the old animation of radio waves okay um but it's not coming from him i see Hmm. bring us the site starts a mental conflict it depends with discipline Where does it say closing this site? There it is. After your first defense that succeed, you may choose whether you want to close your third eye or keep it open to learn more. So you must okay. succeed, which means you must beat him. Ooh. That's going to be rough. That's going to be rough. <laughs> you must actually beat his role. If I want to, if you want to, like, learn more. Site. If I don't, oh, I yeah. see. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let the mental assault begin. I will let you well, like I'm... cover your eyes and look away in terror. Well, let's learn more first, and then we'll fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. I'm in this for the long haul. Fuck it. I'm learning more, and then okay, we'll try and run. 
You're gonna have a stroke first. <laughs> I'm you. Oh Jesus! Okay, so he takes five mental stress this time. Okay, now I like. What do I do? I not learn anything from that. Um, Nothing. You see, like he's got this rotting form. Like his body is rotten. And I you see like at this point trails I literally of bright red ichor like flowing down his back and I literally uh, just yell no you see the power like grab Candace by like the collar <laughs> put my arm in front of my eyes okay. and drag her out. Give That's me an what I do. Oh uh, no! Give me endurance at negative one. Uh, cool. Um. I will spend a fate point to oh, bump actually, that up to it. it's not at negative one. It's at negative seven. What? Yeah. Why? While the site is active, you may take actions other than perception, but these actions will all face a block with strength equal to the intensity, unless they cooperate with the site in some way. Oh, I see. Um, can I try to close it first then, I guess? Uh, you, you can Before try to look away. Yeah, let's do that before I try to drag her off. Do you have any skills better than your... Conviction? Yeah, sure. Cool. cool conviction. Four. Alright. Oh, spend, that was damn close. You really Bump close. It. Do you have any fate points left? Yeah, I have, I, I, that brings me down to one. Okay. So yeah, and invoke yeah. one of your aspects or whatever. And uh, I'm going to invoke... <laughs> I'm going to invoke Haunted by the fu- Past and Future. Now I'm Haunted by the Present. Okay. So you managed to look away. I'm like, yeah, I your look eyes away. are bleeding and you're trembling and you just feel really. Sad. Yeah, I have one mental stress. I literally just like almost like yell, like I rasp out no, grab Janice by the call her, collar and drag her out. Oh, okay, thanks. I don't know if Janice, like, struggles against me, but that's what I do. Um, I don't think I'd struggle against you. I'd be kind of shocked. Um, and then kind of, like, Like, I interrupt your whole, like, thing. Sh- like, whatever you were trying to do, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I'd, I'd kind of shrug apologetically as I'm being dragged away. And, um... And, uh, yeah, just, like, I I won't even say anything more. Like, I was going to go into this whole thing about how I'd be willing to help you out, but my friend is is a little leery, you know, all this stuff. And you're like, no! And just start dragging me off. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. (laughs) Um, So, (laughs) Cynthia's on the verge of, like, she's shaking and crying, both, like, tears and blood. Um... And she's just dragging you out. So this is very reminiscent, by the way, of like uh first time Dresden sees this uh uh skin changer or whatever its name is. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. uh, this is a black vampire. Yeah. Okay, I see. Then yeah, I'm just a very, very old one. Dragging your ass out of here. So are you gonna um, tell me that? As soon as I feel like we're safe, yes. I don't know when that is. Should I roll to see, like, when I feel safe? <laughs> well, let's see. You just left neutral quarter grounds, which is the safest place. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah so... That had him in it. Well, he can't do anything to us while we're there, but that's... He just left. Yeah, but that's mm-hmm. not at all what I'm thinking. You're not thinking. That's the problem. Exactly. Should I roll like discipline and tell me when I feel safe? <laughs> okay. Cool. I feel like that makes sense personally. Two. Just tell me where I get. I think you go back home to the interstate. Jeez. Um. So I'm I'm literally like collecting everyone, not answering any questions, getting in the car, like. Forcing Wait, can, to drive, drive. Can she yeah. find us in the VIP area? Oh God! I guess I just <laughs> actually. I I I don't. I actually don't think I'd look for you. I think I just run oh, the okay. car and drag Janice with me. But like, um, we we 
Thomas and Axel are still in there. Uh, uh, one, two, three, up. Yep, yeah. Yeah, they, they are. They are, aren't they? Uh, um. Yep. Yep, yes, yes, they are. Uh, she sits, she's sitting in the, uh, passenger seat at this point, just sitting there, like, tapping against the dashboard. I hope to God I can bring this thing to the van. So, um, <laughs> so I guess, like, she, she'll explain, even though she doesn't feel safe, like, she'll, she'll try to, she'll be, like, jittery, but she's gonna try. Um, <laughs> that's a, um, that was a black court vampire. Old, old, scary, old. I, I, I put my hands on your, on your shoulders. And I'm super pragmatic about this. And I'm like, and you just lost us a chance to have him owe us a favor? <sighs> you don't want to, you don't want to associate with him, let alone owe him. I didn't get a chance you to don't... tell you. There was a body drained of blood by the pool in Thomas's apartment complex. What? He, he might have been able to tell us something about what happened. I don't care. At all. Not in the slightest. Well, I would prefer not to have on, my head ripped off. You stay didn't. Stay here. Stay please, here. Let me see please if don't I can go see find him. Thomas and Axel. Please, please don't go see him. Promise me. I, I, I hold both of, my, both of your hands in my hands and I say, I, I promise I will not go see him. But we need to find Thomas and Axel. I can't just leave them here. You can come with me if you like, or you can stay in the van. I... I saw him. I saw him. I will always see him. Oh. Looking at him. I'm so glad I don't have that responsibility to bear. Are you going to be okay in the van? Yes. I'm fine. Fine. Yeah, it takes a few minutes, but after a few minutes, the mental stress will fade away. Yeah. There was no consequence, so. Thankfully, I had, like... It would have been I'm, bad. I'm, thankfully, actually, like, pretty resilient, mentally speaking. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah, she's going to calm down in the car, and you can go look for them. Okay. Yeah. I'll go. They said they were going to go gambling, so I'll right. go over to the casino area and maybe ask um maybe like there's got to be like a like a like, like the where you turn in your chips or whatever. Like yeah. uh, I'll go up to there and be like I I'm looking for my friends. Can you guys make an announcement or I just ask Can I have a question? How they look. Just sure. Go ahead. Curious. Um what what did did you like did your face change at all when she said she didn't care that the guy died, by the way? Like at all? Was that like a reaction for you or did um, you understand? I, I just think, curious. I think there was a little bit like of a wince, but it wasn't like a big thing. It was like it, even though it upset me a little bit that you didn't care that the guy died, I also knew you were under a lot of stress and that maybe you didn't mean it. Or okay. at the very least, you wouldn't have said that <laughs> if you were in your right mind. Sure, sure, yes. That is. I was just curious because that I felt like that was um, kind of important, like a little bit, like how you reacted to that. Because you seem to be like, yeah. I want to care and protect everyone. So someone saying mm -hmm. I don't care was I felt like was a important thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you may continue. Sorry to interrupt. I was just curious. Alright, so, um, yes, yeah, they just ask you for their description. And then they're like, oh, okay. there's number 29 and number 30. And they're at that table over there. I'll have those bellboy take you there. Okay. So. We actually in the VIP area, or are we like going into the bowels of the ship? <laughs> You're like, yeah, I wouldn't say we're really in the VIP area. Like, Okay. You're just, you haven't, 
won that much money. Okay, we were just a step up from the general section. Right. So, like, yeah. you actually are now at, like, maybe the nice tables next to the stage. Okay. Where they're, like, doing this uh, Las Vegas-style show dance. Okay. And, it's like, this place is, like, really a lot emptier than you'd think. Like, there's only, like, maybe 30 or 40 people here. Plus the staff. Hmm. And it's okay. like, a lot more people you'd think. That's what I would expect. Yeah. Okay. But, again, this is, like, the middle of the day. It's probably a lot, so, I mean, like, a lot more launch on the weekends. Okay. So, I mean, I assume mm-hmm. me, at least I'm there gambling my money away or making money, like, I, I have no care in the world. It's like, I'm just waiting for somebody to come and get me. Like, I look around every once in a while. Do I ever see Janice? Yeah, like, just when you guys... So, Axel, like, there isn't really, like... I guess they're, they have, like, they'll play craps with you. Okay. Because you wanted, like, a game of pure chance. Yeah, because, like, I have no skill at, like, anything with gambling or anything. It's like, I'm not very deceitful. Uh, like, chance is, like, what I'd be good at. <laughs> I guess Thomas is, like, a few tables down, like, playing no. yeah. or something. Um, so, uh, I'll probably go to Axel first. Okay, well, Axel I is, think... like, in this. He's got the dice and he's one of them. Hello, Janice. What brings you? Where, where's Where's um, Cynthia? Oh, she had her meeting. It's time for us to get out of here. What happened? Where is she? We we ran into someone that disturbed her at the bar. She needed to get some fresh air. She's waiting in the van. Is she okay? I think so. Okay, like I uh, like I tip my table. Whoever's running the table, like, I tip him whatever, and I go to cash out. Okay. Nothing I'll bad get Thomas. to you. Yeah, I mean, like, I just, like, I I respect the dude that's, like, it, and I just want to, like, thank you for letting me gamble here. Here's my appreciation. Right. Like, mm-hmm. I want to make a scene. I want to be welcome back sometime. Yeah, okay. and then I'll, I'll go head over to, to Thomas. Yeah, so Thomas, you can't just, like, leave. You're in the middle of a hand, you know, so. Um, can not you give me a deceit roll? Yeah, um, I was wondering if I could invoke the stunt honest lie or whatever and just have it how he's lying is that he plays up um, the badness of his hand or the goodness of his hand to his advantage or whatever. Sure, what advantage does this honest like give you? Uh, plus two. Sure, that sounds fine. Right. Hey, by the way, but sure. Let's take a look at this. So you're now playing against professionals. The difficulty <laughs> went up a little. Ooh, you're gonna lose. They can sense that you're being honest. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to fake being honest, but you're really honest. They're like, they're oh my god, this is such a bad hand. Yeah, it is. <laughs> they can sense your innocence, and they take. Um, do you want to spend any fate points, or is that okay? Um, actually, yeah, I kind of. Would like to spend fate points. Okay. You only need one. Um, so. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna. What aspect would you like? Um. I don't. I don't think I really have any aspects that um apply here. Can I, you said I could. Spend fate one for one, right? Instead of invoking one right. for two. Okay. Yeah, so I'll spend just spend one. like. Um, I think I'll. I just need to tie, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. So you just spend one. Okay, you get up to five. <coughs> and then, uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, you win the hand. I'll um, give you another aspect that says. Uh, 
<laughs> like you have enough money, so I guess like you have a confidence boost. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> like you beat the best. So put another aspect on you that says I beat the best. Okay. And then, yeah, you can uh, cash out your chips if you want. Um, new aspect: gambling yeah. addiction. <laughs> that might be me. All right. So, what do you guys do? I mean, like, I'm like, I'm trying to get Janice to show me what went wrong. Like, do we need to do something about this person that no. Cynthia met? I'd like to talk to him, but I promised her that I wouldn't help him. Then we don't help him. I put in air quotes. I I uh I I take it to the side and I say like very quietly. I don't think I have stealth, but I can roll for it anyway. Yep. Um. And say, uh, mediocre. Unless someone's specifically listening for me, right? I say, it was a black court vampire, and I thought. He might be able to tell us something about the drained body we found at Thomas's apartment complex. All he wanted was an escort out of the building. He felt it was unsafe for him to leave. And, I mean, this is one well, of the safest places, to my understanding, for people like him. Like, on neutral like, ground, nobody's gonna hurt anybody. But that also means he cannot feed. Yeah. I mean, Which how do, is just how do black killing bear, people, by the way? Just FYI. like that would be my question. Like, how do black, bear, black, black court vampires feed? Do they like drink people's blood? Yes. Well, I'm glad I'm on the boat. If he's hungry, <laughs> I mean, if you want to go talk to him, we should probably do it quicker rather than slower. I'm afraid I've already upset him. Either you and Thomas can go and speak to him alone, or we should just get out of here. Where, where, where is this man, vampire? At the bar. Okay, I, I will go try to talk to him. I guess. Well, I would recommend that you wait for for Thomas and the. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I'm waiting on Thomas. I'm not going to do it alone. So, does I mean, he, like, does he agree to go? I guess is the next. Actually, question. do you have the site by the way? Um, yes, Thomas sir? would. No. Def- I don't. Know. Thomas would definitely be interested in going. Okay. Especially no one with stands, scales kill us all. Not on neutral ground. He won't. But Leaving but be a problem. He also but... wants us to get him off of neutral ground. That's the point. I mean, he's not scared of us. He's scared of something else. Exactly. I'm, or he just wants us for some reason. That's also. I don't know. A so thing. I, mean, I don't know. So I mean, like, I'm willing to talk to it. Like, is to Thomas? You, you are you going coming with me to talk to this dude? Yeah. Yeah, okay. definitely. I'm, um, I'm I'm going to the bar and looking for some sketchy. I don't know. I'm looking for a, somebody that might. Look like a vampire. A shadowy cloaked figure. I, exactly. I can see you. Yeah, he's like still in I, the corner. Like you see, he's actually drinking. And I would have gone out to the van. Yeah, he's got this cup. Okay. And like as you approach him, you realize this cup was red, but it's actually full of blood, and he's just like drinking it. Kind of like grimace a little. Like, do you do you mind if we share a seat with you for a little while? He just waves his hand. Does it feel free? I hear you and my friends were talking earlier. You sounded like you needed some assistance. He nods as I do. Do you care to tell us a little bit about that? I came here a few months ago. And I happened across the neutral grounds. I thought I would be able to find Others who were sympathetic. But I was mistaken. Now, I feel if I leave, 
an attempt will be made on my life. So how does us escorting you out help you with that? It will just be a simple matter of that if they try, they will kill you too. And I don't think they'd be willing to. So I'm gambling on whether if they're willing to kill me or not to kill you. Yes. Hmm. I... I mean, what would we get in return, and how can we guarantee that you won't try and take our lives once we're off neutral territory? And you would have my gratitude. What else is it that you would want? I, like, lean toward Thomas. He's like, you want to ask him about that thing you found today that Janice told us about? Um... I start I start a conversation with um Axel in German. What thing? The, the thing in your apartment? The body? The oh, dead right. one? <laughs> right. right, the dead thing. Yeah. Janice wanted uh, to ask him about that. Um okay. You were there, yeah. so I think you might like be the better one to question him. Right. I had a few questions. Uh, do you know anything about... Uh, do you think he could help me uh, with something? We are trying to figure out um, this weird thing about a body. Uh, it strained the blood from the... And there was a cut in the foot. Do you know how that might have happened? Yeah. Uh, is that... And he says... Um, in German. It says... I am very skilled with dead bodies. But just from a description, it could almost any. If you wish me to solve this mystery for you, it would be my pleasure. But I am currently stuck here. Is there any way to get off the boat without going to the car? Like, without being seen by the van? You can go over the water. We can that take would be it. Like, we could just take a taxi. No, I mean, no, like, the van's like, still gonna see us. Him. Yeah, that was my concern, but, like... Like, I, I am parked out in front of the, like, dock, yeah. and you want to get off yeah. without me seeing... Could... Also, black court vampires, don't... They, like, kill every time they feed, correct? Like, disembowel shit. I don't think so. They don't have no, to. Like, I I'm, think they enjoy it, though. Oh, they definitely don't. I'm pretty sure they have to. Like, I can. I mean, your sight's Excellent. closed, so if we change how he looks, he you wouldn't necessarily notice him. I would notice you walking with someone new, which would uh, yeah. be paranoid as fuck. I, but yeah, actually, yeah, no, I can't really like. We could just leave with a big crowd or whatever and sneak out through the crowd. Is there, like, crowds of people leaving at any point in time? It's a cruise ship carnival thing. I imagine there's crowds of people. Um, if you but at he, night. Yeah, so, I mean, he the way you described it, like, a little bit ago, it sounds like it wasn't... The ship's not packed at the moment. It's, like, low capacity. Very low. I do think most of the people that come at this time of day probably are supernatural in some way. Uh, Would it I mean, be safer to... Would it be safer to leave at night with him, since there'd be more people about? In what way would it be safer? Like, There'd be more collateral damage if something went down. Yeah, probably. So, I mean, like, by his logic, it would be safer, quote-unquote. Right. Okay, so, I mean, like... Oh, God, I, she wants to go to... I don't know about that. So, I mean, like... uh, So, would it be... Would it be convenient if we came back tonight to help you get off when the crowds of people here come to gamble and enjoy the festivities? It says, I have been here for months. If you can get me off this boat, I do not care. Thomas, would uh, that be okay? I need some sort of guarantee that he won't instantly turn around and disembowel, disembowel us because Cynthia was pretty freaked out. Instantly? Within a year's time? 
Gear, yeah, I'm fine with a year. I will so swear upon my power. Should you free me, I will not harm you or anyone you have ever known for a year's time. Okay. Okay. We will try to be back tonight to help you off the boat. Dude. Yes. And like, okay. the bar, like the barista, like gives you a dirty look. Eh. I like grimace and like, eh. Like, let's go, Thomas. I mean, like, unless you have any other questions. Oh, yeah, um, I, I, I'm just like, can you tell me anything about my family? Apparently that's important to what I am or something. I could. <laughs> I mean, he answered your question. Will you? Are you like, Trying to move the conversation along. Will you answer a question for it? Oh, very well. You got, like, ask your question. Good I'm trying to think of a good question that Thomas would ask. Um, I mean, what are they kind of comes to mind? Because you barely know. Yeah. Exact. Yeah, I want to just go. What are they like? What am I? You what are, are they? What am I? You are not yet a vampire, and you are not yet. Your family is not like. That. In fact, it was. Your family's kind that destroyed my kind in a great war many years ago. God. But make no mistake, your parents are demons. Your brothers and sisters are demons. Your friends are probably all demons or soon to die. Well then, all the more reason to help you. It's subtle. Right, we'll return this evening. Yeah. He knows. Let's go with all this excitement I have now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, we, we go to the van, and I, like, I am paying extra attention as we, like, exit the boat. Like, is there anyone... Giving us extra attention or watching us extra carefully as we uh, leave the boat. Give me an investigation check. Yep. After I noticed the barista, I was like, I'm paying more attention now to anybody else. All right. And give me a lord check. I got a zero. Give me a lord check. Both of us or just him? Because I doubt I can even make him. I got a yeah, three on lord. Um, so actually, you notice like several of the... Uh, Several of the other employees of the Carnival and cruise ship are also vampires. Okay. But you aren't noticing them paying any attention to you. Okay. I, I make my way back to the van. It's like, time to go. <laughs> I'm like a little nervous now. Like, time to go. Oh, good. You, like, like, you and Cynthia will be right along. Just two um, fucking paranoid people in a pod. Listen, <laughs> Axel, I really want to help him. Oh, when are you saying this? Like, uh, yeah, as like, we're, uh, like as we're like walking off the ship. Yeah, it's like we can see. Like, we, we probably want to make some calls when we get back home, but like, don't make any comments about it in the van. Like. Long as like we're not gonna start a war in the city because of him, I'll be happy to help it. That's I feel like it would I feel like it would make us safer at least from the white white court because they seem like they aren't exactly 
invested in anyone's safety but the white court, I guess. I don't know. I don't know this stuff. We'll figure it out back at your place, I guess. Yeah. Maybe your place. Maybe. We'll have to like figure out where Janice is driving us to. <laughs> like, we get to the van Holy. and I get in. I mean, Thomas's place will always be safer, always, regardless of what the threat is, so. Well, <laughs> yeah. So I'm probably taking us back to Thomas's place after that. Uh, okay. I mean, a- unless uh, w- once I get back, uh, uh, give me I'll, one I'll basically. Second. Okay. Would you take a break? I'd be fine with a break. All right, let's take a break. Okay. We'll be back in five. Sounds good. Okay.